G'day guys, here we are, number four channel guide. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, let's check the footprint. We've got 75 this way, 100 millimeters that way. Okay, that makes things pretty easy. Um, we'll click once with the rectangle tool, type in 75, 100, enter. Zoom in on that, orbit around a little bit. That's pretty good. Okay, we can see that it needs to go up a total of 55 millimeters. So push pull tool, click once, Five five enter. All right, so that is the overall size of the block. We now just need to shave off, I guess you could say, these little segments here. So let's start off with this corner one because that's pretty similar to the one we just did. Should be pretty easy. Um, we could use the tape measure and measure in thirty and thirty if we wanted, or we could just go straight out with the rectangle tool. We can go from here, click once, drag it down this way, thirty comma thirty enter. All right, there's our shape, thirty by thirty. Now, a little trick I want you guys to start getting the hang of is clicking once on your shape and sliding it through and then see if I, the, the, the push pull tool has a red arrow on the top of it, as you can see. When I hover over that back line, it goes red and says on edge. Doesn't come in handy all that much here, but it's going to come in handy later. So get in the habit of making sure you see that little red dot and it says on edge. Click there. Um, we'll, cut, we'll come in handy later, guarantee it. Now, we need to get this channel out from the channel guide. So we've got the dimensions of the channel. We can see it's 12 millimeters deep and 25 millimeters wide. Um, we just need to figure out where to position it. So how far in from this corner is it? And if I look on the other side, I can see it's 10 millimeters in. So we'll grab the tape measure tool from here, click once, type in one zero, enter, there's our mark. Now, a couple of ways we could do this. We could go like this and straight away draw in on the red um, face, uh, 12 comma 25. Oops, wrong way, 25 comma 12, uh, control, 25 comma 12, there we go. Or alternatively, we could um, use the tape measure tool, draw a 25 millimeter gap, go with some straight lines with the line tool, like this, all the way across, and use the push pull tool to push it down, uh, 20, oh, sorry, 12 millimeters, right? Either way works, we end up with the same result, okay? So that looks basically exactly the same as that, so it means we're done. Now all we need to do is edit, delete guides, paint it if you want, file, save. We're gonna go, where's my file? Um, cat activities, and we're gonna call it number four, channel guide. Okay, save that, file, new drawing, and what's next? Number five, channel stop, okay. A little bit trickier, but I reckon we'll be able to get it done. I'll see you in the next video.